New footage of an ancient city in the middle of the Pacific Ocean has sparked theories that the fictional island of Atlantis could be real. Technological advancements mean that archaeologists can fully explore the ruined city of Nenudal and its structural marvels. The latest episode of the Science Channel's What on Earth reveals new aerial images of the site, which was built on top of a lagoon. As the city is separated by tidal canals and is protected by the ocean by 12 sea walls, Nenmadal is often considered the Venice of the Pacific. Mark McCoy, who led the team of researchers, said, It now looks like Nanmadal represents a first in Pacific Island history. To me, in its prime Nanmadal was a capital. It was the seat of political power, the center of the most important religious rituals, and the place where the former chiefs of the island were laid to rest. The Sodaler Kingdom spent several centuries creating the stone structures, which still stand on 92 artificial islands in a lagoon off the coast of the island of Pompeii. Nenmadal was the capital of the mysterious Sodaler people until 1628, and is still considered an engineering marvel. The name Nanmadal means spaces between, and is a reference to the tidal canals that crisscross the ruins. According to the Smithsonian, the buildings that make up Nanmadal incorporate an estimated 750,000 tons of black rock. The Sodalers must have needed to move 1,850 tons every year, despite a population of only 30,000 people and no access to pulleys and levers. The city, discovered in 1928, influenced author H.P. Lovecraft, from his story The Call of Cthulhu, who admitted it was the basis for his fictional city of Raleigh, from his story The Call of Cthulhu, 